Hit the Foss Way, sponsored by MT Productions. <laughs> In today's episode, we are in the city of Lincoln. We'll be going to the cathedral, the castle, Braford Pool, and finally the High Street. Lincoln is a cathedral city in the district of Lincolnshire. Did you know back in Roman times, Lincoln used to be called Linden? We start our trip at Lincoln Castle. The castle was built in the 11th century by William the Conqueror and was built on the site of a Roman fortress. The castle is an unusual in that it has two moats and it's one of the only castles in the country which have this. Lincoln Castle remains in the use of the prison and the court to modern day and is one of the better preserved castles in England. William the Conqueror constructed many castles from Cambridge, Huntingdon, Nottingham, Warwick and York. When William reached Lincoln he found a Viking commercial and trading centre with a population of around 6,000 to 8,000. The remains of the old Roman walled fortress of Lindum Colina. It provided an ideal location to construct a new castle. Lincoln was an also a vital strategic crossroad of the following routes. Largely the same routes which influenced the sitting of the Roman fort was here before the castle. One of these routes is the Foss Way, going from Exeter in the southwest of England to Lincoln in the northeast. Another route is Ermine Street. It's a major Roman road on England's main uh, north to south route connecting London and York together. A castle here could guard several of the main routes and form part of a network of strongholds of the Norman Kingdom. During the first battle of Lincoln in 1141 there was a new tower built called the Lucy Tower. There is also a car park called the Lucy Tower. Also a bit later in 1217 during the reign of Henry III of England there was a second battle of Lincoln. This was the period of the time signing of the Magna Carta in 1215 took place. Join us after the break where we will discover Lincoln Cathedral. Hit the Foss Way, sponsored by MT Productions. Power or practical? Agile? Or efficient. This is what a Honda feels like. The all new Honda Civic. Honda, the power of dreams. Hit the Foss Way, sponsored by MT Productions. Welcome back to Hit the Foss Way, where you'll find us at Lincoln Cathedral. Construction on the cathedral started in 1071 and continued in several phases throughout the ages. Like many cathedrals, it was built in the early Gothic style. The early Gothic style first appeared in Normandy, France, then later it was brought over to England. Some historians claim that the cathedral became the tallest building in the world upon its completion. It was 160 metres tall. If so, it was the first building to hold this title after the Great Pyramid of Giza and it held the title for 238 years. The spire collapsed in 1548 and it was not rebuilt. However, the central spire remind, remained in place of Lincoln Cathedral would have remained the world's tallest building in the completion of Washington Monuments in 19, 1894. For hundreds of years, the cathedral had one of the four remaining copies of the original Magna Carta. However, it was moved to Lincoln Castle. The, U the cathedral is the fourth largest in the UK in floor area after Liverpool, St Paul's and York Minster. Sadly, in 11th 
1124, Lincoln Cathedral was partly damaged by a great fire, and a bit later, in 1184, there was an earthquake which partly destroyed it, only leaving the west front intact. And another time, in 1236, the central tower collapses due to most of the work being experimental. In 1421, the medieval li library was built. This part of the cathedral is currently being renovated. A bit more recently, in 2005, the cathedral was used for filming the Da Vinci Code, and again in 2017, in Victoria. And in 2015, the cathedral was awarded 12.4 million by the Hush Lottery Fund to renovate parts of the cathedral. Join us after the break, we'll be at Brayford School. Hit the Fossway, sponsored by MT Productions. Hit the Fossway, sponsored by MT Productions. Hi, and welcome back to Hit the Fossway, where you'll find us at Bradford Pool. Bradford Pool is a natural lake formed from a widening of the River Witham in the centre of the city. It was used as a port by the Romans who connected it to the River Trent by constructing the Foss Dyke. The Foss Dyke connects the River Trent at Torxey to Lincoln. It was built around 120 AD by the Romans and it has a long industrial heritage. Today the pool has been the focus of Lincoln's urban regeneration programme since the 1990s. It is now overlooked by bars, restaurants, cinemas and most importantly the University of Lincoln. The only remainder of the past is the Royal William Pub which is a listed building. The pool is used as a marina by houseboats and pleasure craft. Also it has a large population of mute swans. The Brayford Island is man-made and that lies in the Brayford Pool. Join us after the break where we're driving Lincoln High Street. Hit the Fossway, sponsored by MT Productions. NCM Radio. Hit the Fossway, sponsored by MT Productions. Welcome back to Hit the Fossway, where you'll find us at Lincoln High Street, our final location of this episode. The High Street contains a number of cafes, pubs, restaurants, local shops and department stores. An ice cafe on the Lincoln High Street is Stokes Tea and Coffee Shop. It was built around 1540 in the Tudor period and it's only one built on a medieval bridge with houses still on it. Looking up to the north of the High Street, it is dominated by Lincoln Cathedral, which is on Steep Hill. The High Street has many listed buildings, 30 to be exact, and some of these are Guildhall and Stonebow. The Stonebow and, Stone and Guildhall is Lincoln's town gate dating from the 15th century. More recently, Lincoln has redeveloped the Swan Hill Court with the train station and bus station alongside the Central Park, Central Car Park. It's the perfect place to park and loads of spaces easy to get to. They have the high top street brands as well as some local shops, every man cinema to see your favourite film. Thanks, Thanks for watching Hit the Fast Way. I've been Matthew. I've been Tasha. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Fossway, sponsored by MT Productions.